Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. You guys, the last episode was so good and it was really sad. I could not believe how moving it was. Um, I will briefly get into just kind of because there was a lot going on and there's certainly now I, I feel like a lot that we're moving into and I'm excited for it. So I will briefly just kind of give you my summation, my recap of, um, you know, kind of where we left off last time. But before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, all right, guys. So obviously, like, the thing that really got to me the most last time was the whole, like, death defeat of Geld and, um... It was just really moving because if there's one thing that I've been saying about Rimuru pretty much this whole series, it's that he is changing hearts. He's changing lives. He's changing life for whole groups of people um, for the better. And he may not be setting out to, like, save the world or anything. It's happened, you know, somewhat kind of naturally. Um but at the same time, like, that's what he's doing, you know? Even, like, the uh, episode before last where we get to see everyone in action, it's like, but Rimuru, you did that. You helped them unlock their potential. You gave them the resources. You led them. You guided them. You saved them in a lot of ways, you know? Um, and there was something about um, just watching him, even in defeat, kind of set Geld free and give him peace and the knowledge that like his people aren't going to starve and his people will be taken care of like that was utterly beautiful and I loved it and um I just had no idea I was going to be you know so moved by that episode but it was great um we also got like we got a glimpse of who I think they were referring to and it wasn't the Howl guy <laughs> I'm sorry, Howl Guy has a name. I think it started with an L, but it's escaping me right now. Wasn't it like Leon, 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 Leon? I don't know, because um, there's another character on anime I'm watching with a similar name, and I don't want to confuse them. Um, but that's a whole other matter. So anyway, the Howl Guy. I mean, he really does look like Howl, though, doesn't he? Has that? Does anyone here like Howl's Moving Castle? Does anyone else flip and love that? Because I do. Um... But yeah, he's, for now, he's Howl. Um, anywho, I don't think, it's not the same, it's not the same one. So, and I know there's other demon lords out there. So I'm wondering if we're going to like encounter some other ones before we move on to, because we know eventually that is on Rimuru's list is to go and confront um, on behalf of Shizu, um, the demon lord who she was involved with. So, um yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. But for now, um, the next episode is called the Jura Forest Alliance. Guys, One Nation Under Rimuru. I, I, I feel like I've been saying this for a while. Like, let's go. Let's do it. Um, but boy, is that going to make some people upset, though. Because there's a lot of people who are very, like, politically interested in the goings-on in this forest. And I feel like they're going to be, I feel like they're, I feel like this is going to ruffle some feathers. You know what I mean? That like they're doing this. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 po it's positive. It's positive as far as I can see, but um, not everyone is going to take it that way, I think. So, all right, guys, without further ado, what do you say we jump in and get right to the next episode of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Let's go. He's the chairman. <laughs> He's like, I never asked for this responsibility. No, they were under, they were, they were, they were controlled. They had no. Oh, maybe were they in control then? I don't know. I see. Nice. 
He has absolved them. Wow. Aww. So they were in control, but they had the starvation spell on them. Hmm, yep, that's what we live by. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're, they're powered up now. They're taking this pretty well, I gotta say. Come live with us? It wasn't really. That's kind of what I th thought we were doing. Let's all, let's, yeah, let's form like, uh, yeah. We get our fish and water from you. We live here. We got our dwarves to help us build stuff. Come work for us. Nice. We all. Yeah. Okay. They're so moved. They're like, I can't believe we'd take us in. And now they're loyal forever. They're loyal forever. Cool. We'll contribute as well. Nice. Wow, so a lot of this could have been prevented had we all been working together sooner. But there was no, never anyone to get us all together in a room. Chancellor Rimuru. What do you say, Chancellor? <laughs> He's like, I oh, he thought Trainee was, well, that does seem like a natural... But the thing is, he got them all together. Yes, heck yes. Sorry. Wow, but Rimuru took all your sins. You don't have to do that. But he still feels the guilt. He still feels the weight of it. And... Bodyguard! <laughs> so, samurai bodyguard and <laughs> secretary. Mm -hmm. Princess! General. Heck yeah! Mm. Can't just go taking heads. Yeah. Wow. Aw, slate is wiped clean. Then it's behind us. Wow. That is true forgiveness. Oh, the music too is just beautiful. Oh, that's his son. Isn't that funny that we ended up in another situation where we took someone's dad but they're loyal oh now you're geld oh he's named after his father oh and now we're gonna you're oh, i don't know if we've ever seen it like happen before our eyes before the orc king wow Oh, wow, that's a lot of orcs to name. That's a lot of, you're going to need a lot. Oh, he's, he's a puddle of goo. Puddle of goo. Abiru, the dad. Okay. Kabiru. Oh, okay. I don't think it's going to be the death penalty. Oh, exile, okay. He's... They're giving him his weapon. They, the people really had a lot of respect for him. It's a shame it, it turned out this way, but he's not dead. He has some stuff and his trident.
Oh, is he gonna go live? They're get they're all gonna go live together. They then they yeah they're gonna they're gonna follow. He's gonna go start his own tribe. They but they're your fools. <laughs> they're your fools. Yeah, they were after. Now we know all about Rimuru. Clayman. He's a different demon lord. Hey, tools, clothing, houses. We've got, oh! What, oh my god, guys, we have like indoor plumbing. Nice, hey, look at you. Wow, now we've got like, dang it. Oh, Yaki, the happy dog. Yay. Awesome. Just be careful because now that you, yeah, now that you have a big established town, that means it can attract a lot of attention. Okay, what's going on? Is it Clayman? Uh oh. What on, what on, Flo I'm sorry, are those as pe Pegasus? Pegasi? Well, here's the thing. They're really, it's really just him, though. <laughs> I mean, yes, he's, there are a lot of powerful people in his care, but. Whoa. I gotta say that the, the, the Pegasi are pretty cool. Yeah, that's him. That's the same dude. The king of the dwarves. Yep. Hi, king. How's it going? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay. He's a chancellor now. Well, you... Oh, he doesn't believe he's the slime? Is that... Oh, what? Yep, we're going to show up with the peanuts and the popcorn. <laughs> Guess what? We have dryads on our on our fourth, too. Get ready, set, go. Oh, ow! That was a loud noise. Yeah. Okay, all right. Thunder of heaven and earth. Ah! Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> Nicely done, Rimuru! Okay. Okay. Oh, he just wanted to size him up. Okay. That's a. That's real. We could have told you that. <laughs> you have to find out for yourself, though. So hopefully the. Oh, look at Raga's like. Ah! Oh, your master was, we've been training. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was going to say, how did he get so good? What? What? Huh? <laughs> they know each other. Okay, well, these two have a history. Gotcha. A tr what kind of treaty? Yeah. Cause they're a very powerful group. It's weird to think Rimuru is gonna be like, <laughs> it's like ruler of so much, but he is. Oh, we get to name our nation! United States of Rimuru! Where's the Jammer? Rimuru Tempest. There we go. JTF. I like it. Rimuru Town! Capital City Rimuru. Yay!
Ka happy to be in an alliance with you. Friends? Okay. Capital City Room Room, Jura Tempest. Nice. Little, little something for your history books, you kids out there. A little something for the history books. All right, you guys, that was a fantastic episode. So much going on in there. For one thing, we just, we have the establishment of so many things. We have the Alliance, Reamer becoming the Chancellor. And I have to say, like, as much as Trainee would have been, like, I feel like I could see that line of thinking of making Trainee the Chancellor. Trainee was not the one who did all of this. Was not the one who, like... You know, I feel like there was great care taken for the overall well-being of the forest. However, a lot of just the things going on in the forest were not addressed until Rimuru came in and made changes. Um, it's one thing to overlook the forest, and it's another thing to take care, like, literally, like, transform the lives of those in the forest. Like, he's the natural choice for chancellor and it's weird to think like what the the king said at the end there they're like hey you're gonna get like wealth and riches and stuff beyond your wildest dreams it's like rimuru never set out for any of that but being like the ruler of so many different people like in this large um you know kind of fledgling nation like yeah he as we develop more and more, it's weird to think he will be, like, a super high-up ruler and everything. He is. He is now. Um, we made our first allies kind of, like, across the way. I don't really know, like, geographically how it's all located. They probably showed that to us at some point, and I just forgot where everything was placed. Um, but now we, we, um, we have our first kind of, like, I guess you could say foreign allies. Because um, they don't live. We have an alliance with all these peoples in our own nation, but these are peoples in another nation. And so we have our first alliance there. That's a really cool thing. And it's good too, because honestly, I think there's a lot of risk that you take being such a new nation, yet developing so quickly. Um, you're going to attract a lot of attention. That's one thing I was saying, like, in this episode, I was like, ooh, dang, like, what is this? Because I thought maybe we were, our intentions were something different. Really glad to see that the Dwarf King is such a cool guy. I'm like, yay, because I wasn't so sure. And, um, you know, when we, where we left things where he was like, yeah, you know, kind of like go and, and, uh, see what this, see what this slime is all about. I'm like, oh no, please don't tell me he's got like his own agenda or something. And, um, but yeah, it's mutually beneficial for us to be friends, and so now we are friends. Um, so very, very good. Um, the lizard people and the orcs got absorbed into the great nation of Rimuru, or should I say the Jura Tempest Federation, um, which I love. Man, Valdora. When Valdora finally comes back, like gets out of Rimuru's belly. <laughs> He's not in his belly, you guys told me that. But you know what I mean. He's like, he's in there, kind of. Um, he's gonna have, like, a whole new world to get used to. Like, what the heck? Um, but yeah, uh, I like how we, we left Gabidu alive, and he has his core people with him, his core followers, so he's presumably gonna go off and maybe do his own thing, maybe travel, I don't know, maybe go establish his own little, little tribe, who knows? Um, but he's alive, and he has... His weapon, which was really cool that they like. You could see how survival of the fittest is definitely the law of the land here. But I feel like Rimuru's influence has had an influence, you know. Rimuru shows a lot of mercy and forgiveness. And I feel like perhaps that has not gone unnoticed by other people. So, um, very, very cool. So now we, we have so many different peoples living within our nation, which is really, really cool. And we're all contributing. We're all getting along, even despite like some really, really, I, I'm just super impressed. Like, um, Reamer was right about Benny Maru because, um, you know, he really shows a lot of strength of character and forgiveness and just, um, integrity. And even beyond that, because, like, you can have all those things and still not, like, be able to so quickly forget about something so horrific that was done to, to your people. But, but he, um, he's, he's willing to, to, to move forward, you know. He's willing to move forward on it. Certainly it doesn't undo any of the things in, in the past, for sure. But um, 
wow. Really, really impressed by by everyone in this. Like, Reamer, obviously, but also just, like, the other characters. Um, so, uh, we got to, like, officially meet Meet, I guess. Unless we did a while back and I'm forgetting. But um, we got a little bit more about the white-haired demon lord who is known as... I think they said it was Clayman. But the next one is called Demon Lord Millum Attacks. So, who is... Are they the same person? Because if he was behind all that, if he was behind Galmude and, like, bringing up a new demon lord, but then why would you... I had the question last time, like, if you if you are a demon lord, why try to make a new demon lord? So you could have, like, a friend? I don't know. <laughs> or you could have, like, just two demon lords better than one. But, like, I'm still very curious to know, like, what was the exact reasoning behind that. Like, power, obviously, but, like, I need more specifics. Um... A lot of new people in the intro and outro still that I think we're going to meet and get to know better. So I feel like we're set up for like a brand new arc now, both with the new themes, with the new nation, with the just everything. Um, so a lot of, lot of fun stuff coming, you guys. A lot of fun stuff behind us now. We are way past the halfway point. We have, what, I think maybe eight episodes left of this season. Um, and I'm just, I'm here for it, guys. I loved it. That was an absolutely fantastic episode. I'm so proud of how far we've come. Um, I, I acknowledge Rimuru as our new leader, and I think he's doing a fantastic job. So, um, yeah, guys, great stuff. I love that. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today, and please be sure to join me next time. I think we have some really fun stuff ahead of us that I can't wait to get to. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.